Hello guys, this is a tutorial. We're gonna connect Claude Cut, one of the best AI agents and also one of the best AI models like Opus 4.5 uh, with Unity Engine. So it's gonna be very easy and to make it work, we will need to install first of all AI Game Developer. It works like a bridge between advanced AI agents and models and Unity Engine. So just click on download installer right here. As only you get it downloaded, click on the installer file. And in the Unity window, you will have this uh, window. Click import on it. And Unity gonna install it for you. As only Unity gonna stop compiling and complete all of that stuff, you will see this window. In this window, scroll down a bit and you will see Cloud Cloud. Click configure and it's done. So configuration is completed. Then next step, click connect. So AI game developer gonna start trying to connect to AI and it's gonna see some errors right now because I did not start Cloud Cloud yet. So there is nothing to connect to. And you may see this green ring instead of circle like here. So how to start Cloud Cloud? There are two options. You can launch it in Visual Studio Code, but in this tutorial, we're gonna launch it in Terminal. So you would need to open the cloud card in this specific, specific folder of this project. Let's open it from Unity. You can like use right mouse button click on assets, show in Explorer, and you're gonna see this window. Here, you can click by right, right mouse button and open in terminal. And right now I am exactly in the folder of my project. So here I can type cloud and it's gonna start the cloud card. Hmm. Actually, let's let's do it. I don't know. Uh, so cloud card is started, and let's take a look on the status. So it just gets switched to connected, which means everything's good. And just to be extra sure, everything's connected. We can type mc slash mcp in cloud card, and we're gonna see we have AI game developer right here, and it is. Let me make it bigger and it is connected. So everything is good. Let's click exit and that's it. So the next step, what we can do, we can check it out. It's working. Um, to do that, we can uh, we can ask AI like, what do you, what do you see in this scene in Unity project? And it's gonna use one of these MCP tools that AI game developer provides. There are a lot of them. And you, by the way, can disable and enable some of them. It's up to you. I would recommend to disable those things you don't need to have, just because uh, all of them spend AI context and you are interested in to keep the context cleaner because it lets AI to work more efficiently and make AI a bit smarter. Um, so yeah, right now it's operating. It, it tries to call different AI tools. You can see all the locks right here. You can turn the locks off and off, on and off if you want. So you can choose a level of the locks, that's optional. And it asks me to allow, I'm gonna choose option two, let me make it a bit bigger for you. Option two, like to, denot, to do, allow and to do not ask it again. All right, so it's gonna read my scene. It has some amount of objects right here, actually a lot of them. Um, uh, let's allow some stuff and it's gonna like, step by step, it's gonna iterate and understand what's going on and provide me information about the project. All right. So, um, as I said, uh, disable the tools, what you don't need. Take a look at the connected status. That's all of this part. Uh, I also prefer to disable resources because I don't know how to use them properly, actually. And the prompts, they are passive thing. They are commands. So in the cloud code, when you type slash and something, ooh, with some glitch, um, you may see like there are a lot of, um, if you can see that, there is like setup animator component. So you can click enter and it's gonna execute this prompt. The prompt, it's actually a command to AI. So it's gonna do something. Um, all right, so let's take a look. AI give us some description and it provides, oh, hold on. Yeah, it's right here. So it can see this dropship 
R35 right here in my scene. It can see like it has some nested objects inside, two engines, which is actually correct because it has two engines right there. And it can see like everything what's in the scene, light and, and other stuff, VFX folder as well right there. So it, it can access to that and it can, can call any tool. So you can ask it to do anything you want right there in this chat window and it's going to do it for you. And the setup is actually done and that's the end of the tutorial. So if you like it, please give me the like. And if you would like to have more AI information later, please subscribe to this channel because I'm going to post much more stuff later. And have a good luck with AI. See you next time.